Hello guys and welcome to something new. I've been sick lately I couldn't record too many things so I've been playing Farming Simulator 2015 Gold Edition and I had a lot of fun playing it. So now here we are on a modded map called Sandy Bay Farm and this is our farm. There's, there are two farms on this map Sandy Bay and Willow Farm. So Sandy Bay is down on the bottom side. I can't click unless I... Hmm. Unless I jump into a tractor. But anyway, let's just run around. There are two farms. It's lovely countryside, UK countryside. Awesome map. We have a few things here and there. We have our plow, our cedar, sprayer, a few tractors, a baler, and there's our New Holland harvester. And also we have a few things down there, like a wind drawer, a tether, and a grass mower. And I also, as you can see, I have loads of money because I took out the other half of the loan. I'm playing on normal, so I've been down 100k, I took out the other 100k of the loan to max out my loans and I bought that trailer because I've been having problems with the usual trailer that's on a dolly it's not really easy to use but look at this like look at that it's amazing, there's the other farm right there in front of us we have a bunch of fields and I have a bunch of mods installed, so we have a few fields that we have access to that we own which are these few fields down here 30, 31, 35, 33, 36, 26 and 11, 7 and 8 up there and from all these fields there's the wheat field here, number 31 and number eight, the barley field that we can harvest, and also number seven, 35, and 30 are ready to mow, so we can go through those as well. We don't have any livestock, which is okay for now, but what we are going to do is harvest these two fields and enable the, so we get straw. And we are going to build them up and store them right there. And the other one we will probably need to transport it down here. So we'll see how that goes. So let's get into our harvester. We have a bunch of things installed. Like I have drive control, course play, auto combine, a bunch of new trailers and stuff installed. Because all of them are really cool really nice. I also try to play with my gamepad just to make things a bit easier. So let's hook this up. Yay! Now drive backwards. Yoink! So we have that, let's sit back into the cab. I've been trying out loads of maps. And I like most of them that I've been trying out. I like this Sandy Bay Farm. This is Sandy Bay Farm Redux version 2.1. I also tried out and been playing on Woodland Farm, I think. Or Woodside, I don't know. With the narrow lanes, that's quite challenging. I always bump into things and have problem going all over the place. So let's turn around, turn the dolly around, there we go. I think that's reasonably placed. Let's drop it down. Let's sit back in. And attach the head. Oh. Yeah, I need to figure out if I can, if there is a... Are we going to hit it? Yes, I 
Okay. Thankfully, no damage mod. I was thinking about using a damage mod, but now I'm like, no, I'm, I'm such a rookie on this. I'm not going to. All right, we have the header. And now, let's move on this way. And I'm going to harvest myself because that's the point, right? So let's unfold the harvester. Is that not the button? That's not the button. That's the button. To unfold it and then turn it on. And let's get moving. So yeah, I've been trying out loads, loads of different maps. I have Coldborough Park Farm, that's an awesome map. I have this one, which is quite cool. Then, is that Woodside? I think it's Woodside something. That looks awesome too. With its narrow lanes and overhanging trees that you need to cut off to clear up some of your fields. So you can have some of your machines automatically go around because cosplay and auto combine likes to get stuck on foliage on the side. So yeah, I have loads of other things installed, the new trailers, modded trailers, modded bits and pieces. So yeah, that's a fun to to play this as a city boy. I've never lived on a farm or in the well, I did live in the countryside, but I wasn't really involved in anything. I've still been a city boy. So yeah, it's quite fun and relaxing actually to to play around with games like this, not doing anything. So, I try, I try to set up cosplay on this to do like cultivating and seeding, but the, the tractor with the cultivator is always stuck on the hedges on the left hand side. Every time it comes down this way, even though I set like three headlands to go around and give it enough space. So, but it always reverses into that hatch. I don't know why. But that's okay, because after a while it just realizes that, oh, I'm stuck. And then just goes on forward and, and continues. Although it makes it miss a few bits and pieces around the, around the place. So after it's done, you need to come back and fix, fix it up. What I found is auto combine on this field works quite well, going around in a in a spiral instead of getting cosplay to go with headlands and then up and down. Because if it goes up and down, then sometimes you you get to a place where your harvester is right, the pipe of your harvester is right above crops, and if you are driving tractor pulling a trailer or tipper then you won't be able to go in there without destroying things okay let's stop here reverse a little bit and get another tractor this one and go down grab that tipper from down there oop wrong way like this way, and then that way. And also, there are these little gates that you have to go and open manually. Am I close enough? I'm close enough. Okay. Actually, I should have turned off the engine on the harvester. But that's fine. Okie dokie, let's turn around a bit more, let's look behind us, and a bit down, and reverse.
Yay! So, and now go forward. Since we don't have cows, I don't care about leaving the gate open for now. That's okay. There's our milking station right there, so we'll be able to come in here with a tanker and pick up the milk that our cows will produce. But that will be a bit later. Now, can I just come from here? Nice and slow. Is that right? Let's get a bit more. Okay, let's stop here. Parking brake on. Let's change back to our harvester. Let's see if that's correct or it's a bit too far away. Too far away. Okie dokie. And I guess we wanted to go a bit more forward. Well. And now. Nope. There we go. Okay, engine off. Right, jump back to our harvester. Well, that's just barely making it into the tipper, but that's fine. Let's fill that up. Yay! Alrighty, pipe in. Let's start it up again. Let's keep going. Oh, fucking wreck. Let's just make some headroom for us. Around here. And you see how that goes. And also with cosplay, if you said headlands. Then it will miss the corners, which is which I kind of hate. Auto combine goes through and harvests everything, which is quite cool. So we might just get it on auto combine in a second. Whoa. So there are parts of this field that you can't just turn. Get our wind drawing and just make some nice little stacks into one line. Get it lined up really nicely for our baler to pick up. And this field is tricky for round bales, and we have a round baler. Because every time you put down one, it will just roll down. Thankfully, the hedges will stop it, stop the bales, but that's fine. I think that's fine. It's good roll down in real life as well so yeah let's go around so that will give us a good amount of wheat and a good amount of straw bales not a lot but it will give us some as a starting point and then the other farm will give us a few as well from the barley field we'll harvest there. Let's just keep turning instead of stopping. So if we can turn, let's turn. I quite like it that player vehicles would destroy crops. So you won't drive around on the field, destroying your crops. You're fine until you seed, because then there's nothing to destroy, really. So as soon as you seeded a field, you just don't want to drive around on it. Unless you're happy with destroying some of your crop. 
Actually, this harvest is a bit too small. Or I don't know if it's too small. So I have no idea how. If we would need a bigger one on, on fields this size. So some of you, if you are farmers and know stuff about farming, tell me in the comments down below. If you would go with bigger machines on on fields like this. It would be nice to have a bit more capacity in the harvester. I should just stop here and empty it into the tipper. I can stop here. Right. Turn that off actually, turn that off. I should have get the pipe out. I need to be in the bloody harvester for the pipe to actually come out fully. But now that it's fully out, it will empty itself out nicely. Okay. So drive around, that's the drive below it. Let's look. There we go. Let's stop the engine. Let's jump back in here and let's watch it as it empties it out. I also have new sounds installed that has been actually recorded outside real life recording in, in Wales, in the UK. And they are playing longer than the ones that are originally come with the game. So it gives you more ambience and that's quite cool. It actually makes it sound like real life that you would hear outside on, on the fields. Am I going to hit the tip that no? Good. Let's keep driving around in circles. I might actually cut some of this harvesting out because it might get boring. But it's actually quite relaxing. I might just turn here and leave this side off. I'll come back later and fix it. For now, I just want to keep, keep the motion fluid without reversing too much. Right, so just go in a spiral. And if I miss sides, I'll just... Chop the straws on those little bits and not dump it on the ground. I have a few interesting mods installed, like real terrain, which makes it, makes, makes all your machines like sort of sink in to, to these kinds of ground, like earth, so it drives differently. Also drive control gives you, well, firstly, it makes you start your engine and disengage the parking brakes. And what else? Also gives you bouncy like suspension. That's why we are bouncing around a little bit. And sometimes if we look at our equipment from outside, the the wheels keep bouncing around. Which is okay, I guess. Whoa. So we'll need to reverse here. So that's quite cool. What else did I add in? I added loads of mods. Mostly equipment mods though. So adding in trailers, tractors, harvesters. I don't have m most of the DLCs there, which I might get in the future. Like the whole mode one or the new Holland pack. I do have the gold edition. With all the Zetor tractors. Which are quite popular. I remember hearing those names from my childhood. Eastern Europe. 
it's quite common there, the brand. And I'm also amazed all the time when I see all these big machinery just driving around the fields and driving around the countryside. Being it here or being being here in the UK or back in, in Eastern Europe. So it's always fun and interesting fun and games to watch all the big stuff go around and do things. I didn't really miss too much in that turn, so that's that's good. I think I let it go at just enough. That's too much. Let's turn that back that way. Yeah, interesting shaped fields, which is what you would get in this kind of terrain. Oh, and we just destroyed some of our crop. Oh, don't drive forward, drive back. Stop. Actually, extend the pipe. Do do do. It's the pipe. The pipe's there. And let's get into this little beast. Actually, this is our strongest tractor on this map. Oh, and I just made a huge mess right there. Because I need to make the turn bigger. So I need to get out and then turn around. Whoa, slow down man, slow down. I might actually set up a course for this now that I'm and I have cleared most of the things out. So it will come and empty me. Every time I reach a certain amount, so I can keep driving around without stopping and stuff. I think horseplay would be able to do that easily. Right, where is the thing? I think I'm too far away. Aren't I? Nope. Close enough. So what we are going to do is get this load off of the harvester, drive the tractor back and drop it off, or actually start a course play course for it, record it, and then just set it up and then I can go around and it will just come and empty. That's what we are going to do. So there we go. 80%. Good enough. Start it back up. Now, I will need to go around. Not this fast, or actually, let's not go around. Let's just turn around here. Whoa. So, yeah. This tractor has barely enough power to pull this trailer up when it's full. Same with the, the one that comes with the map. So what we are going to do is stop here. About here. Somewhere. So we can go out that way. So we'll stop here, get course play up, I'll set it up this way and I'll do start recording course. So we'll just go out from here that way, nice and straight. Because for some odd reason, course play's first few waypoints are really far away from each other, I don't know why. After that it's fine, so if you look, it hurts. them quite close now, but the first three are really far away. So what we're going to do is come up here and hopefully not screw this up. And I 
nice and steady. Stop here for now because we need to empty. Okay, not that. Have we not? Okay. Now we are stuck! So let's go back a little bit. Let's go forward a bit. There we go, now we can empty. Let's resume course play. Oh, because it's uh, tilted back. You can't empty to the sides. Okay. I haven't used this trailer yet. So that's that was the problem. That's fine. Now that we have emptied it, just go down here and go back to the field. Nice and slow. You don't need to be running around too quickly. Go back to that side. Right, so uh, we are back here. We have enough headland to stop our course right here. We can stop here. Let's save this course to what's this uh, field 31 to silo. Right, let's save it. Also, I now brings up this PDA kind of thing, like smartphone map thing. Okay, that's set to that one. We could set it to auto search, but I'll just set it to manual. And could drive on at 60% and drive, start at 60% and drive on at 90. So we need to remember that before 60%, we need to extend the pipe. And then the tractor will just come along. That's fine, course is fine. So let's do drive nearest waypoint. And now it's just waiting for the combine to reach the fill level set up so we can now jump back into our combine there we go close them pipe start up and he will just come along and empty every time we reach a certain amount which is awesome and I know this wheat field will look horrendous and rendered but that's mostly because of the yellow and none of the rendering engines can handle that none of the encoders can handle it so no matter what I use for recording no matter what rig I use and what kind of beefy computer I have it will still come out as pixelated because it's really hard it's really dense and it's really hard to encode So let's test and see if the course play guy will come along and reach 60%. Well, actually, I should have I should just have the pipe out all the time. It doesn't really matter, does it? And now. Let's turn that off so we can turn quicker. Let's come back a little bit. Turn it back on. Let's get off of the brake pedals. Also, drive control makes you switch directions to drive. So if you hit on your brakes, you won't start to go backwards suddenly, which is, I think, how it should be. Right. Also, I saw a mod for bailing that would actually make bailing a bit more realistic. But I don't know where it is and where I saw it, so I will need to look into that. So now, I'm 
I have the glance mod, so up on the top left corner, you can see my hub. You can see all the machines that are actually running right now. So there's the Hurleyman waiting for us to reach 60% and hopefully it will start driving on as soon as or starting to drive to us and reach 60%. It should. So there we go. As you can see, it says transporting. And on the mini map, you can see the course play icon moving to us. Hopefully it won't bump into us and screw our way up. Might actually need to stop because I will need to reverse. Oh, obviously it just ran into... I don't know why it does that. Now, I need to stop him. Reverse. Turn around. I think it's the turn that I started to turn that screwed him up. Right. Drive. Drive behind combine. Now it should be fine. So he should be coming up right next to us right now. There he is. Slowly drives there. Under the pipe. stuff up and then he'll just drive behind us into the field and wait for the next 60% to fill up so we'll just stay here just we'll turn that off until it's still we empty out into the tipper there we go We can go and continue. I do really wish to know, and I will need to check, if there is a button to don't drive too close to me behind me, mate. I'm reversing. So I'm I'm curious to see if there's a button that would wow that glare from its headlights. Okay, I don't know why course play always wants it to turn on the bloody thing. So that reminds me, did I turn on four wheel drive for it? To always use four wheel drive. Nope. Now it does have it. Field speed, let's take it down to 20. Street speed should be 25. Could be faster, but I don't want it to crash. There we go. And download could be a bit faster because it might. Oh, let's just leave it at that. Anyway, let's keep going. We'll just sit there. So sometimes the AI for it to figure out where it needs to drive is a bit buggy. or well, not that smart. So it tries to plot a course and it just drives into hedges and anything that has collision on trees. I saw that on huge open fields with some trees around it on American maps. That is just beelines into a bunch of trees. For some odd reason it thinks that it needs to drive on from a certain waypoint that's behind a tree line. So it drives into the tree line. So obviously it has its limitations, but it still helps out a lot and helps with automating things, even with its problems. Right, Let's turn, stop, reverse, and continue. I should just start going up and down the field now. Soon. I just can't keep straight lines. I do have the GPS mode just to turn it on to give me a visual indicator which way I need to go and what line I should keep. Don't really use it for anything else. But 
to tell you the truth, this map is awesome and all these custom UK maps are brilliant and so good looking. It's like this one with all the cliffs and the beach and the ocean that looks amazing. And then Colborough Park, that looks ridiculously beautiful as well. Or Woodside or Woodland, but I don't know, I need to look that up. That one with the narrow little lanes and really narrow spaces in the yards. That looks cool too. Or with that amazing feature of having to cut down all the overhanging trees so you have access to the whole field. Because you can see that you have wheat growing inside the bush. Well, you can't get to it. Wow, that's blinding me. It's 7 in the morning, bright daylight, and you have your headlights on. I don't know why. Do that a little bit. Oops, try not to hit the tractor or the... Tipper. Right, there's not a lot to do. It's a little lane here, and then it's a bit wider up top, but that's fine. Because we've been driving around like crazy, look at that, like a drunken person. All sorts of bends in it. That's fine. Time for the wind blower just to come through. Ah, uh, the head's not big enough. Just a little bit there. Whoops, wrong button. Okay. Let's get the guy up here, so let's turn the harvest off. Now you can stop doing your course. And we'll do your course now. Basically, we we'll just turn around and drive right next to the harvester. Empty it out, go and tip it into the silo. And put the tipper away for now, because we don't need it. Oh, I don't have the, the hazard lights on, or the flashing beacons on. Am I turning? Ooh. Am I too close? I'm too close. There we go. Bump into the lola back. Okay, that's it. I emptied it out. Okay, what I want to do is get my mass. Because we don't need it anymore. Oh right, I think that's it for today's video or for this episode. Hopefully you liked it. So make sure to leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't dislike it, and you watched this far. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. So you will know when there's a new video up on the channel, maybe a farming sim video, I don't know if I'm going to continue the series, but well, probably because it's nice and chilling. Not chilling, but it's relaxing. Oh, there we go. Stop it. It's nice and relaxing and it's just uh, loads of fun to play. So be sure to let me know if you 
like this or what I should do differently in the comments because I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie. And I have no idea how to play this game. Well, that's not true. So I have a little, little bit of an idea. Well, I shouldn't reverse from this far away. much. Okay, good enough. 